right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Almost up to a thousand wines just cornering the first quarter of the year here in April. And uh, a lot of great stuff. A lot of great producers in town this time of year because, hey man, think about what everything else is like this time of year. Cold, January, February, March. Where would you rather be than right here in South Florida? Well, our friends from Lael Vineyards. Uh, Mike Updegraff was in to see me, and I've known Mike for years from back in the day when he ran Swanson Vineyards. And uh, this Lale, one of the most exciting project, Rob and Lale, family, Inglenook fame, and uh, some of the greatest vineyard sites. This is the first property that Michelle Roland consulted. Not Michelle Roland, I'm sorry. This is the first property that Philippe Melka consulted for, and uh, one of the top names and wine consultants in California today. And uh, this Lale Blueprint Sauvignon Blanc, very different from their Georgia Sauvignon Blanc. This one's featuring some nice melon and fig fruit, but more citrusy here. Uh, the grapes grow in the Coombsville and St. Helena, a little different area also for the grapes. This wine's got a hint of green herbs, herbs and a touch of vanilla spice here. This wine aged in oak. Uh, bright and zesty style of Napa Sauvignon Blanc, some of that green melon, some zesty grapefruit citrus on the finish. Excellent juice. The Georgia, $130. Woo, are we ready for $130 Sauvignon Blanc? Well, this is pretty good. It's all estate from their vineyard in Yountville. Only 606 packs produced. And hey, Screaming Eagles now got a Sauvignon Blanc. They made two vintages of it, 10 and 12. And it's $3,000 a bottle. Unfreaking believable. This wine, probably just as good. It used to be part of the Napa Nook Vineyard, which they sold to Dominus. And uh, this wine's got a lovely, rich bouquet of ripe figs and melons and 100% French oak for 18 months. You get that extra added level of complexity, a lovely vanilla bean note, a lovely texture to this wine. Very rich and creamy on the palate. This is a wine that will last for decades in your cellar. A lot of people don't realize how age-worthy Sauvignon Blanc is if it's made right, like the great white Bordeaux. This wine, reminiscent of an Aubryon Blanc. Absolutely spectacular. Killer juice, and it should be for 130 bucks. One of the best Sauvignon Blancs I've had this year. All right, the Lale Cabernet Napa 2012. This wine, um, say your typical... Um, Napa Cabernet, but I mean, this is uh, a pretty big Cabernet, 8% Merlot, 4% Petit Verdot, and it comes from several vineyard sources throughout the valley. Good amount of dark currant and cherry fruit, notes of milk, chocolate, fine herbs, some fresh loamy earth. These 2012 wines have got a wonderful forward and drinkable nature, but these wines are also balanced, and they have got the structure to last for a decade or more in your cellar. Most excellent juice. Well, check it out. Everything that we've got from Lale Vineyards here. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off from the Wine Watch, saying remember, Remember, always drink the good stuff first.